Good morning, good morning, good morning, my saints. This is the day the Lord has made, and we ought to be glad and rejoice in it. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be here this morning. I'm going to give you a phrase this morning that you can carry with you. It's not a biblical phrase, but it's just a crazy old phrase. Sometimes in the South, we wake up and say, good golly, Miss Molly, I woke up this morning. So thanks be to God. Good golly, Miss Molly, uh, we are up this morning. So we just came to praise God. We are coming off of a great day from yesterday. Yesterday was a blessing for me. We worship God in spirit and in truth. We had a great Sunday school lesson coming from Delbert and uh, Alicia. Uh, I enjoyed them tremendously and uh, give God the praise. I thank God for the, our tech team who put everything together for yesterday. God be praised. I want to thank God for um, those who participated in that service. We, ju we just have so many great people at the Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church. Um, and I say constantly uh, that y'all continue to make me look good. I'm not this good, but y'all make me look good. But I thank God for it. And I'm happy to be here for such a time as this, along with the people of the Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church who love God, who love God's people, and who continue to lift up his name. We will continue to lift up God's name on behalf of this plague that we are in. And uh, we're kind of locked in right now. Some of us uh, went to the grocery store on uh, yesterday for a minute to pick up some things from Ms. Goldman. Um, but um, we're getting to know one another better again. So we give God praise. Sometimes God has to slow us down a little bit because we won't slow down on our own. So sometimes God says, y'all just take a chill pill for a minute. And um, just enjoy one another. So I want you to know you pray for me and Miss Goldman. We are we are enjoying one another. Uh, she's almost tired of me and ready to declare social distancing in the house, but I just won't let her. So God be praised. Uh, this morning I'd like to lift up a scripture for you. This morning um, that, that that scripture um, is is found in Romans Romans eight, and that's going to start with verse twenty four, and it reads like this. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a person seeth, why doeth they hope for? But if we hope for that which we see not, then we do wait patiently for it. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for, for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercessions for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the heart knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercessions for the saints according to the will of God. And here we are. This is the text. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Saints, keep that hope alive that all things, even this virus, is working together for our good. For this is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, pray with me for a minute. God, we thank you this morning for another day. We come now on another Monday morning, a Monday morning on which um, some of us are confined to our homes and we just uh, lift up the name of Jesus. We have some people who are very sick today, oh God, and we ask that you would touch them, not just with this virus, but also others who are sick in the hospital with other uh, situations. We ask you to touch them. We ask, oh God, that you would um, uh, bless our, our doctors and nurses, our um, first responders who are taking care of, of these individuals. We ask that you would keep them safe, oh God, Build the hedge around them and protect them, protect their families, oh God. We are thankful for their courage and uh, for their willingness to to um, be out there trying to help. We say your prayer, we say a prayer for our seniors, oh God, their home, and we pray that their needs get met, that somehow um, we find a way to bless our seniors, bless our families, bless everyone around us. Um, Lord, um, you have taught us to love, and maybe now you're drawing us even closer to love one another even even more. Uh, you are definitely showing us, Lord, that some of these petty things we used to worry about, we ought not be worrying about. 
There are more serious things in the world that we need to lift up your name for. And we do that right now. So bless us. Bless our church, oh God, as we continue to uh, attempt to be salt and attempt to be light uh, in your uh, uh, kingdom. And oh God, we want to be about kingdom work. So show us the way. Um, as the song once says, we fall down, but, but Lord God, we're thankful that you get us up. So continue to bless us, especially, Lord, I pray for the Fellowship Church today, every member. Um, got a message on yesterday, but one of our members were going to surgery this, this week. We pray for that member right now in the name of Jesus. We don't have to know the name. All we need to know is that person is going into surgery. So bless them right now. Uh, Lord, I have, I have a funeral that was scheduled for tomorrow. It has been canceled. But I pray for the family members who have lost a loved one and are grieving right now. We lift up Mark Harden and his wife right now at their loss right now. We, we pray for all those who have lost loved ones uh, to this, uh, this plague. So, Lord God, send a miracle. Send your blessing right now. We pray for a miracle that, that someone comes up with a vaccine and that we might all be able to come back together again. You're showing us a, no, a new way to live. So, Lord God, let us learn from this. But also, oh God, we ask you to never, never, never forsake your children. Please not turn your backs on us. We lift your name up because there's all power in that name. So bless us this day. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.